Good morning guys. It is currently 7.20 in the morning on Tuesday, June 1st. So the dogs just woke up. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do today. I have a lot of errands to run so I wasn't going to vlog but then I thought it might be fun um, to try and vlog the day. I have to keep an eye on Piper because she has gotten under the fence and ran into the neighbor's house a couple weeks ago. So I've been really watching her outside recently. Um, hi, Pipe. So I don't, I'm trying to, I'm currently having an internal debate with myself on whether or not we should go to the dog park. I kind of feel like yes, so I can go run my errands today and the dogs will be tired, Piper girl. Um, I have like a lot of house projects that I have started and have not finished so today I want to try and finish at least get the stuff to finish them and then tomorrow it's supposed to rain um, so I can't be outside so I'll probably finish them then um, like I started painting the deck and then realized I have to get paint stripper because the paint is like not coming off with a um, power washer and do some stuff i want to film another like a more formalized video i guess and i need to go to whole foods home depot i need to make a return i need to go to the car wash and i need to clean out my car so maybe we'll start with cleaning out my car this morning and i'll kind of show you guys what i do to clean out my car before i go to get the car wash um yeah Okay, so it is now 8 o'clock. I decided just to take the dogs. We went on like a mile walk. And then I want to go to the park later. Not the dog park, just the normal park to walk around. So I did not walk them any more. Um, I'm so tired this morning. I, like, num I need to get ready and go run a few errands. I need to go... To the post office to home depot and i haven't decided if i want to go to whole foods or not i might not i need to get my car wash and probably go to starbucks which is not a necessity but it's definitely something that i want to do um yeah it's hard to do anything with the dog so i always try to wear them out mom and i are going to go to the park later and walk around which will be nice um to do that and i'm making breakfast right now i've like been doing this for breakfast a lot is just making eggs i need to flip them and then i'm doing half a bagel these like everything bagels gluten free from trader joe's are super good let me flip this okay so i'm just scrambling some eggs and then something else that i've been doing which i'm going to show you guys is taking chia seeds and putting them in the water it like it's supposed to aid your like digestion and gut health and I really think it helps um, so I do like probably close to a tablespoon of these um, I just use this little wooden spoon I got from Hobby Lobby um, it fits perfectly and then I do some lemon juice. I have this like hack where you like roll your lemon and then you stick a toothpick in there and it just shoots out like a like that. I've already used this one a lot so it's not I have a lot of juice left and then I just shake this up and drink this whole bottle first thing in the morning and it really it looks really gross but you can't really taste them or see the texture especially with the lemon juice and then i just drink this with my breakfast and it's a good way to get water in and yeah so i'm gonna finish making my breakfast and then i'll show you guys how it looks i don't know if anyone else but piper will not stop getting up on the counter and it's like so annoying um but yeah, I'll check back in in just a second when my breakfast is done. Alright, so this is my breakfast. It's the egg, the bagel, the arugula, and then some blueberries. 
Um, I've never done it with the arugula, but I think it will be. I, I've never done it with the arugula, but I think it will be good. Just a nice taste. And then with my water. And then I am probably going to get my packages ready to go um, and run my errands. Okay, I've decided that I need to clean out my car. Which, it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to show you guys anyways that I've let it get this dirty. Um, so, like, here is the front. And there's, like, trash all in here. It's, like, super... And then this is just filled with, like, dog stuff, to be honest, that just needs cleaned out and put back away in the house. And I don't even want... I don't even... Okay, the trunk isn't that bad. There's just a little bit of dog stuff which i'm gonna keep this bag of like the dog leashes and like the dog bowls and stuff in the car because we've been taking the dogs with us lots of places and it's nice just to know that they already have like treats and toys and stuff in the car that we can bring but i'm gonna clean out the car at some point i also need to clean out the garage but that seems like further down the line um i'm gonna find some more Cole is barking, so I will be right back. Okay, now I got the back cleaned out. I'm just going to use microfiber, and then this, I'm going to use this little brush I got from the Dollar Tree, and then this brush that's like an OXO. I'll link this one down below um, to scrub out, like, all the little crevices and make sure everything's clean in the back, and then I'll move up in the front. Of course, we have our helpers in the car. Okay, the car is all cleaned out on the sides. I'm going to go to the car wash and use their, like, vacuums because I think they work better. But, like, all these little places are so clean. So, I would really recommend... This one's, like, still a little wet. It's hard to dry off the grooves. But I would really recommend using a microfiber cloth in this to clean out all your little crevices and like i said i'm gonna go vacuum but that okay i just got back this is not cute from i went to drop something off at ups i went to return something at petco and then found like all these things that i want so i thought i would show you guys um i got these treats they only have like chicken turkey and some fish in them so I thought these were good. I'm always looking for treats that like, don't have a lot of ingredients. These are turkey, pumpkin, sweet potato, carrots, and zinc. Um, so I thought these would be good. And they're in this little resealable pouch. So I might put these like in my bag or in the car for when we go places. I got the dog two Kong balls. I want to try to use the Kong more. Um, especially Piper like loves treats and food. And so I think I'll like try to do maybe their breakfast in here with like some cottage cheese or yogurt and some treats um piper's also been chewing on stuff non-stop and she really likes this brand of like bones i got two of these one for her uncle. and then i got these to try their bone broth pour overs they have chicken bro bone broth chicken carrots butternut squash, tapioca, thyme, and sage in them. And then I got two different flavors, or three different flavors to try. Um, they were only like a dollar, so it's like a nice Petco. And then I went to Home Depot and I got the Home Depot bucket, of course. I need it for these rocks I'm throwing away. Um, some paint stripper for the deck. Oh, I also got these treats from Petco. Um, they're salmon, and the only ingredient in them is salmon. I want Cole has to take like omega vitamins, but he does not like them. So I thought maybe trying to get like some fish or some fats would be good um, to see if he will eat those. And then I just got some paint edgers to do, finish painting the bathroom. Mom and I, we're gonna go to the park today, but we decided to go strawberry picking instead. So I'm gonna change out of this, maybe put on a little makeup and then get ready to go so i'll show you guys when i'm done 
Okay, so I just got changed, put on the tiniest amount of makeup, but I'm wearing like this bodysuit. Or here. I'm wearing like this. It's hard because my phone's in my pocket. You can't really tell. I'm wearing like this black romper from American Eagle, I think. So here's that. I'm going to go to the strawberry patch with mom. I will take some videos there and keep you guys updated. Okay, so it's 3.14. We just got back from the strawberry farm. I didn't take that much videos because it was kind of busy and it was just kind of a mess. So I took a little bit of videos that I will insert here. Um, we took the dogs. It was super fun. We got like, my mom and I combined like 16 pounds of strawberries, which is a lot, but we gave, we stopped by my sisters and gave them to them. So I have like five or six pounds left for myself. And I think I want to try to make some chia seed jam. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's like you cook your strawberries and then you can add sugar or maple syrup and then chia seeds and it makes kind of like a jam consistency or like a jelly. Don't know what the difference is. So I want to try to do that and then I need to clean. The house is just like kind of a mess. I have not vacuumed or done the floors in a while. Um, and it's just a little bit messy. I don't know if I'll vacuum today, but I definitely want to pick up, especially like putting away the stuff that I got this morning and the stuff from the car. Um, but first I want to wash the strawberries so I can make some jam. Um, to wash my fruit, I just put some vinegar and some water and soak them for a little bit, then rinse them and let them dry good and before I put them, um... I let them dry really long before I put them in the fridge. I have like these containers, um, like these. There's a few blueberries left in these, but um, it like closes off. My, I can link these too. I got them from Amazon. Um, trying to put the lid on so you guys can see. You can like change it so it has like, these can open with air or they can close and then they're like that. They work really good and keep your fruit fresh really long. So I'm going to wash the fruit and then I will probably clean off the counter with the dog treats. Okay, I've been really bad at doing these. Um, it's now Friday. This is where I'm going to end the vlog. I'm just going to show you guys I'm making... Brad, Brad and I, Brad and I are going to visit his grandma tomorrow, um, and we won't get back till like one. So I'm making some lunch, and then I'm gonna prep our dinner for tonight. So I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm making him just a sandwich using these buns. We always get buns and then like use two because I can't eat them, and then throw them away because they get moldy. So we have been trying to use them. We're eating burgers tonight. We'll eat two. We ate um, pulled pork sandwiches, and I'm going to make him like a sandwich for tomorrow and some pasta salad with salami olives and cheese which is pretty good um so then we come home and he can just eat that um and not have to worry about making him anything or doing anything else because i'll be tired i'm also gonna ask spaghetti and meatballs tomorrow so i'm gonna prep everything for that so that tomorrow i can just make them cook them and then be done with that too so i did set up this pool for us to use for the weekend it's supposed to be like 85 degrees out um so we're gonna use it tonight definitely so i will show you guys the final product of his lunch okay so for Brad, I made this sandwich with salami, turkey, and cheese, strawberries, and then this pasta salad, which the pasta salad is just this. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree, and it made a decent amount, so he'll probably eat that for like two meals. Um, and then I added in salami and mozzarella cheese, 
And then mine, and I put strawberries. I did grape strawberries, gluten-free graham crackers, gluten-free crackers, and then just some salami and pepper jack cheese. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we'll eat that at home but just it's nice because we'll be really hungry and hot and sweaty when we come home and i'm sure we'll be tired so i know that it's just nice to have something to grab to go to eat so that is all for this vlog make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time